Player ratings. It is. In the morning, I came up with a video of the predicted starting eleven for the club of Liverpool versus Man United. And I went ahead to give you what my thoughts are. Now we're here to bring you the player ratings of Brighton 0, Arsenal 3. Arsenal just continue to cruise past the side of um, Brighton by annihilating them by three goals to nil. Trossard capping up the result at the... Um, Falma Stadium, call Amnex Stadium in there for you. Rock and David is my name. Hope you guys are really having a fantastic Sunday wherever you are. Smash the like button, comment and share. If you're totally watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. And um, I want to say close to 300 likes much on this video. <clears throat> let's, let's start it up with the player ratings. Goalkeeper, David Raya. He went ahead to pull out a very brilliant save. If I remember the goal he conceded against FC Porto, it was almost the same shot, but he really went ahead to stretch first with his right hand, and when his right hand couldn't make that save, he obviously went ahead to use the left one to obviously tip that ball over the bar to go into the corner. Looking like they've been practicing a lot about such saves because that goal could have gone ahead to cost Arsenal a lot of money. You know, in the Champions League, that Arsenal <coughs> got close to, is it, 12 million euros when they qualified to the quarterfinals. And if they win the game, there is an amount of money they get. And if at all they lose, there is an amount of money they get. So they feel like that could have gone ahead to cost them again. And I think, is it called Kenna or Pena? The goalkeeping <coughs> coach of Arsenal is like taking him through the drills and it looks like I was going to hit the needful. And by the way, he had something to do on the day. That is David Raya. And I'm giving him a 7.5 out of 10 for me because he had something to do. Benjamin White. He's really looking good. And especially going forward, he has shown us that however much is playing with a little bit of a knock in his injury, in his knee, he's not going to stop to obviously gate us to the levels that we've always going to hate to call him to be at. And that is Benjamin White for you. He's putting up the best of performances and hope you guys are really enjoying them to the fullest. Benjamin White, 7 out of 10 for me. <laughs> that is it. Zinchenko, the way he really danced himself through the midfield, through the invasions, he really, he, invasions, you know, he really inverted a lot in the midfield and he gives you that orientation that will always want the club of Arsenal. I was really a little bit worried that maybe Kivio or Altomias would come in through to play as the left back, but the manager was like, I have to get in Zinchenko to do the job, but I don't know whether they're playing against Bayern Munich. The Zinchenko will be given a go to play into this game of football because Leroy Sen and Serge Gnabry can really turn him into an avenue that Pep Guardiola, sorry, that Ateta wouldn't really want. But Zinchenko, 7.5 out of 10. Saliba, oh, clean sheet kept in between him and Gabio Magales. And you remember that block that Gabio Magales did and they celebrated it with a trossard. It shows you how aimful they are to really keep clean sheets and it shows you that every clean sheet they keep it's like a reward for the side of Arsenal and they know how good they should really go and what they are chasing after it's really well well known and that is it and that is the now that is the man known as that is the man known as Saliba. So for Saliba, 8 out of 10. Gabriel Magales, 8.5 out of 10. He really had a very huge <clears throat> role to play into that beautiful game of football. But then we go to the CDM. Jorginho, you know, with an assist on the night. You know, these are things that Jorginho really does. If I told Jorginho puts in assists in the games, he really does it centrally when he's in the center and goes in for that line-breaking pass. But today... He was really running towards the byline and he was released by Martin Odegaard. And guess what? He went in for a near post cross and that effort was really dispatched well in the back of the net by Kai Havertz and he really got himself an assist. Jorginho, 8.5 out of 10 for me because even in the second goal, even in the third goal, if at all I'm not mistaken, I see him really doing a very huge interception that saw the ball go to Kai Havertz and Kai Havertz immediately released um, Trossard. Trossard burst into space, sat the goalkeeper down and went ahead to lift his effort over the goalkeeper 
into the back of the net. That technicality was really great. So for Jorginho, 8.5 out of 10 for me. That is it. And I saw him celebrate with his former Chelsea player. That is... Uh, um, what is the name? What is the name of the guy? Kai Havertz. And they really had a very good go together. So we go to Martin Odegaard. I give Martin Odegaard an 8 out of 10. He never scored, but his impact was hugely felt in the game. That is it. His impact was hugely felt because he gives Arsenal this control that I always demand my player known as uh, Bruno Fernandes, especially when he's playing in big games. I've gone ahead to demand it on several occasions, but I don't know whether it's really going to be one of those that will always be given a go in there at the club of Marinette. But all I want to let you know is simple. Manchester, sorry, uh, Martin Odegaard for me is the best number 10 in the Premier League. And if Atoli continues to take the team of United, say if you continue to take the team of Arsenal to the to the semi-finals of the Champions League, then a lot will be said about him. So guys, um, that is Odegaard. I'm getting him an 8 out of 10. We go to Declan Rice. He was benched in the game of Luton Town and he later came on and yesterday he really did a lot and i'm really seeing more of declan rice i tell you this at west ham i never really got to know how skilled this man is but he's a talented guy he is all what you'd want a modern midfielder to be all about apart from rodri having a little bit of um the class in him eh? but i think they're almost at the same level they are almost at the same level and they are really doing lots of things that are really similar. You know, Declan Rice has six Premier League goals. Rodri has seven. I think they both have, is it six assists? Six or four? So that shows you how good they are. And for Declan Rice, he takes an eight out of ten for me into that beautiful game of football that he played at the game or the stadium of Brighton in there for you then you go to Bukayo Saka what a way to return from injury getting yourself onto the score sheet very very great and very very good for the player and he scored a penalty taking his tally to 14 equaling the number of goals scored last season but he still has some seven games to go that is Bukayo Saka for you so he takes an 8.5 out of 10 I go to Gabriel Jesus responsible for the penalty that Arsenal gates <clears throat> I've gone ahead to see people downplaying the effort of this guy that went ahead to miss out, but he missed out on two chances, but he rewarded Arsenal with a penalty. And the penalty resulted into the most important goal of the game. That was the first goal that we all need to come out and really give credit to because it's not something easily done. You know, breaking the dreadlock is the most important beat in a game. You go ahead of that team the permutations change. <laughs> the dimensions of the game change totally. I tell you, if Arsenal went ahead to finish the first half nil-nil, Brighton would have gone ahead to obviously have more belief. But Arsenal went ahead to obviously cross out all their hopes. I'm talking about the hopes of Brighton to come out and really make it hard for Arsenal. And by the way, Brighton had gone ahead to obviously be resilient and uh, they had gone ahead to defend very well because in the last 12 games of the Premier League, they hadn't lost a game at their stadium. They last lost a game, I think, in October last year. So it shows you how good this team is. And the moment of Gabriel Jesus factoring out a penalty was really great because he lifts the ball and the defender goes in for his right foot. That is Eric, Eric Lamptey. Is it Eric Lamptey? And then he concedes a penalty. 7.5 out of 10. Though I believe <clears throat> there are certain levels that Jesus is lacking to reach. But if he's really producing moments like those that are resulting into goals for Arsenal, I think he's really going to have more and more and more and more of such moments in the coming games, on the remaining games of the season. So he gets a 7 Point five out of 10 from me. Kai Havertz. Leading the line, scoring a goal, and then he put up an assist. Kai Havertz was really good, and his consistency is really one that beats my understanding. He's really unreal, and 
he's really insanely kicking into the mode and form that you would love to see him be in in the final bend of the season so for Mikai Havertz he takes a 9 out of 10 9 out of 10 we go to the substitutes Tomiyasu came in for Zinchenko Tomiyasu 7 out of 10 then um, Edding Hetia came on for Kai Havertz 7 out of 10 Trossard he takes an 8 out of 10 because of the goal he scores but he came on um trossard came on for i think gabriel jesus then gabriel martinelli 7.5 out of 10 he came on and really played in the position of uh in the position of bukayo saka then there came fabio Vieira, getting him a 7 out of 10. the manager michaela teta 8 out of 10. Who is my man of the match? No doubt. It's Kai Havertz. It's Kai Havertz. King Kai doing the needful. With a goal and an assist, no one comes close to him. But his energy levels were really insane. Pressing from the front and obviously going and tracking back, you know, to join the midfield to defend. Those are things I really want to see the team of Man United do when they're really playing teams like Liverpool because you really ask yourself, why are the teams doing that and players of money not doing it and i speak right now the lineups are soon getting out if i totally want to know more about this game of football come to the united matters channel you are gonna hit me that side i'm gonna be there giving you the best that you guys deserve in here onto this channel so guys thank you very much for watching through i go by the names of rock and david the player ratings are done my man of the matches kai havertz tell me who your man of the match was and what rating are you giving the players that I'm going to be talking about into this game of football? Rock and David is out for now. See you later. Second video of the day. More is yet to come. Liverpool versus Man United. All eyes onto the screens. Ciao, ciao.